From our first days in school, we learn to put pen to paper. It's a habit we develop through constant use, until it's second nature, something you don't even think about. And now that we've had enough time to practice, one company has decided to harness the most powerful force known to man, the force of habit. Introducing PenPoint from Go Corporation. What PenPoint offers more than any other operating system is a natural way for people to use computers. It's the first general purpose operating system designed for mobile pen-based computers, where the system and applications work together like never before, allowing users to focus on the task at hand rather than the computer. So a sales rep can concentrate on giving a customer what they need, and a property appraiser can work standing up. The most basic component of the PenPoint operating system is the Notebook User Interface, or NUI. Because the NUI is designed around the pen from the ground up, most of the complexities found in desktop user interfaces are eliminated, which results in a much more natural pen and paper-like metaphor that features a unique gestural command language and powerful handwriting translation. One of the most important features of the NUI is the table of contents, which allows you to organize and view the documents you have in your computer in a logical and natural way. Down here we have the bookshelf, where you can store items you want to access from any point. Here you'll find other notebooks, tools, hyperlink buttons, and help. To get a good look at what you have in the computer, simply tap the View menu and then tap Expand. Tapping is an example of a gesture. Another example is using an X to delete this page. The gestures for delete, copy, move, and edit are consistent throughout the system and all applications, which makes it easier for users to be unaware of the fact that they've switched out of one software package and into another. The NUI is organized into sections, tabs, and pages, or documents. You can turn to a document simply by tapping the page number. It's as simple as pointing directly at what you want, like this form on page 16. And once you get where you want, entering text is just as direct and simple. That is, it uses what he or she already knows about using a pen and paper uh, and gets rid of all the technical things that uh, we ordinarily associate with uh, computer power or data processing. Now, to us at State Farm, we're always interested in finding a better way to do what we do. We want to provide better service to our policyholders, our claimants, and we view pen-based computing as a mechanism to accomplish that. When you turn the page, PenPoint automatically saves your work. In fact, save and load commands are done away with, allowing users to focus on the work rather than the system. Here we have a drawing application, which is very different from the form, yet it responds to the pen in a consistent and natural manner. So an X still deletes an item, like this wall, and you can still enter text like this. You can also draw a circle and PenPoint will translate it into a smooth, neat circle. And a circle drawn over the word boardroom allows you to edit or change the text. So PenPoint can interpret the same shape as the letter O, a circle, and an editing command which just happens to demonstrate the unique ability of PenPoint to interpret gestures based on what you're trying to do. You can also use the pen to do things you couldn't do with pen and paper, like moving, copying, and resizing an object like this meeting table. Turn the page again and you see a memo that might need some rework in the face of new information. So you can use the same gestures to copy and move text that you used to copy and move a circle on the previous page and in another application. Entering an entirely new paragraph is just as natural as it is on paper, with one notable exception. You'll never run out of writing space here. A simple caret and tap opens a large writing pad so you can add a new paragraph wherever you want, making PenPoint perfect to revise and edit documents on the fly. You can even combine the functions of different applications 
by embedding one in another. The ability to embed documents lets users move between applications seamlessly, which makes Penpoint computers even easier to use and much more useful. The Embedded Document Architecture, or EDA, lets you embed one document in another live. So when you update a compound document, you don't have to switch contexts or redefine the links between documents, which is the way we've all wanted to work for a long time. The fundamental benefit that I think we see as systems developers in pinpoint technology is that it moves the ability to capture critical transaction information out to the point of delivery. This is true both in the brokerage and sales support activities in group health business as well as in the clinical setting. In both cases, it lets us get at the heart of the matter in the most rapid way and get that information back into the hands of management in the shortest possible time frames. Penpoint's EDA also provides hyperlinking capabilities, so users can create hyperlink buttons to documents, lines, or items they need to reference quickly, often, and or easily, which unleashes the power of the computer to deliver information where and when it's needed. Since Penpoint development is object-oriented, developers can easily incorporate functions like embedded live documents and hyperlinking into their applications without reinventing the wheel. It also helps keep the user interface consistent while reducing the size of applications, which makes Penpoint-based computers easier to use and all the more portable without sacrificing power or performance. Pen-based computing, and Penpoint in particular, represent new frontiers. You want to approach them with an open mind, new sets of tools, and look at new concepts, concepts such as using object-oriented programming or object vision, or other new things that you come up with, not just adapt the old tools to the new environment. Penpoint is designed for people on the go, so we built powerful mobile connectivity features into the system. For example, the instant on-off feature allows the user to turn the system on and off at any time without rebooting. The system starts up right where you left off. Deferred I.O. allows users in the field or away from their office to queue up output. That way, the next time they connect to a network, printer, fax, or modem, Pinpoint prints or sends the documents automatically, without further intervention by the user. Penpoint also provides built-in support for smooth connectivity to other computers and networks. Users can install auto-configuring network protocol stacks like Thompson Netware on the fly, so they can connect and disconnect from networks several times a day without rebooting or using special commands. And a consistent file import and export system makes it easy to exchange data in popular file formats with PCs and Macintoshes. We see there is a tremendous synergy between uh, Pinpoint, a client-based operating system, to extend the existing Novell networks beyond the desktop where they are today and into a new horizon, practically a, a revolution really in the industry. The synergy that exists between Pinpoint's client-based operating system and NetWare's file server-based operating system brings more robustness and functionality to end users, especially mobile end users. Go packed all this capability into a very compact operating system. An operating system that is ideal for portable notebook size computers, but is also scalable for use in computers any size, from systems that fit in your pocket to computers that hang on the wall. The trick is using object-oriented programming and reusing the same code over and over again, like the help system, which is available throughout Penpoint. Simply drawing a gesture over any object will get you help quick. When you're developing an application for Penpoint, I think the really interesting thing is that you're always thinking about putting the application inside um, a, an environment, a page, or someone else's application as a compound document. That kind of inset uh, mentality pervades building your application, and I think it's really going to crystallize a new way of thinking about building applications. Using Penpoint's powerful image point imaging model, outline fonts scale to any size quickly and cleanly without the resized fonts taking up any more memory. And Penpoint also uses data compression techniques to preserve precious memory space because the less memory Penpoint uses, the less memory the hardware needs to provide, which in turn reduces the power consumption and cost of the computer system. 
so users can carry around a lot more work in less expensive, smaller, and lighter computers, which gives users more freedom to work where they want and need to work. The pen-based computer market will be as large and as fast-growing as the laptop market is today. At GRID, we have over 10 years of experience in this marketplace, and based on that experience, we believe the pen, the electronic pen, is absolutely the most natural way to interface with a computer. PenPoint is a very rich operating system. It's a multitasking 32-bit flat memory model architecture with built-in connectivity support and a powerful imaging model. It was designed and built with object-oriented programming down to the kernel, making it compact and scalable as well as hardware and device independent, which gives hardware vendors additional freedom in designing general purpose and specialized systems. We think PenPoint as a new operating system allows us, the software developer, to really reconsider all forms of applications. That means both existing applications and how they're implemented and the benefits that they deliver to users, but more importantly, whole new classes of applications. By broadening our thinking about what applications can be, we believe we're going to attract whole new classes of users who in turn will be served by whole new applications. New classes of applications that can go where only notebooks and clipboards have gone before. Applications that allow users to access and interpret information in real time, while they're working, while the information is most useful. And that's the person PenPoint really frees. The person who couldn't use computers before because the keyboard required two hands and a lap, or because typing is socially unacceptable in certain circumstances or who couldn't use a computer simply because before PenPoint, computers required too much training and attention. PenPoint has the power to bring electronic information to new markets, to automate tasks that today require a pen, some paper, and a data entry clerk back at the office. And that brings new meaning to the power of the pen. Pen-based computing is quite different than the traditional keyboard or keyboard and mouse-based computing. Users think of the computer as what they see on the screen. What's in the computer to them is what's on the screen, not what's in the box under the desk or on the desk. With keyboard computing, you're pushing buttons and controlling by remote control what's on the screen. With mouse-based computing, you're using a mouse and moving a cursor and trying to give commands to change what's on the screen. With pen-based computing, you're directly manipulating what you see on the screen. The user sees it as directly manipulating what's in the computer. Because of its hardware independence, PenPoint offers software developers broad new markets for shrink-wrapped software applications on a wide variety of hardware platforms, which means you can better leverage your development efforts in terms of profitability. But more than anything, PenPoint offers a natural and uncomplicated way for more people to experience the power, potential, and productivity that computers offer. You know, we talk all the time about making computers easier to use making people more computer literate. Well, well, we ought to continue to make things easier to use. I think the days are past of making people more computer literate. We need to make computers more people literate. We need to think about what they want to do. And users don't want to compute. They want to do their jobs. We ought to make that easier and more fun. I think pen-based systems are going to go away to making that happen. The possibilities for PenPoint are both awesome and exciting. From pocket-sized time managers to wall-sized computers. Possibly even the first real home computer that everyone can use because it makes use of habits we all share. All these systems could be designed to make our lives easier and to make work take less time. It all comes back to one central idea. When something is both natural and powerful, it's a force to be reckoned with. And that's what PenPoint is all about. Harnessing the force of habit. <laughs>